All right, greetings and salutations, my friends. Tell me, do you like RPGs? Specifically that of the Super Nintendo era, with new life breathed into it for a new audience. Come, my friends, and let us begin our next quest into the world of Alpine. Join me for my favorite game in this series. Welcome to... Dragon Quest V DS, Hand of the Heavenly Bride. This is a good one, kids. It's, uh, I should probably create a new adventure log, huh? Haha, <laughs> yeah, die, testing bastard. So as we all know, I go by comic. Why would that be any different in any of the LPs I do? So let's start out with some story, as you would expect in an RPG. Wow, thanks, I'm cured. Pancras, huh? That's a fun name. Alright, that worked about as well as we expected. Good job, Chancellor. <gasps> it's him! And head squished by the, uh, bottom screen being cut off. Aww. There I am, the fun little joy burrito that a baby is. Just listen to my baby upset with the world. I mean, sure, if you want him to be bullied for the rest of his life. Could you just imagine if, like, people were named after their moms? Like, hey, what's up? I'm mom's son. Now, from what I understand, that is pretty much where a lot of, like, Johnson came from. The son of John. By the way, if you choose your name to be, uh, Madison, I believe Mata there says, uh, let's call him Erdrick. Based on, uh, the legendary hero from Dragon Quests 1 through 3. Lift that joy burrito! Oh, and... Tragedy strikes. <laughs> Just drops the kid. Man, it would suck if burritos, like, cried when you ate them. Could you imagine? I mean, I feel like we just saw this, but if it's important. So, you may be saying, comic, why you start with Dragon Quest V in the Zenithia trilogy, what about four? I did that NES one back in 2012. I've been meaning to do this LP for a long time, viewers. I even did a uh, test run of the game back in 2014. And it had been three years since the first time I played the game, and now it's been four years since I've last played the game, so now I'm even less prepared. Because I didn't do a test run for this one. Ha! Idiot! That makes sense. Anyway, you can adjust the camera angle with the L and R buttons. It's very important to do that, because some things are very cleverly hidden. Seed of Resilience, Booster Resilience, Medicinal Herb, Medicinal's your herbs. If you guys have played Dragon Quest XI, you know the character just, like, picked up the pot and just chucked it to the ground, but, uh, we just destroy them immediately. The DS Dragon Quests are very good at, uh, making things pretty lightning quick. Everything comes out very fast, animations are very fluid. This is what I was hoping the Dragon Quest VII 3DS was gonna look like, but so when it looked like Dragon Quest VIII, I got a little, not like upset, but I wasn't as thrilled as I might have been. And we got a ticket to purchase us some, you know, high-grade explosives, no biggie. Sounds like a challenge. We're just an adorable child, we can't get in trouble for that. 
Is that a watermelon? Yeah, that is just a straight-up watermelon on a plate surrounded by fruit. <laughs> Good on you, Mr. Briscoletti, for just straight-up eating watermelon like that. Bet he eats the rind, too. Here's a fun thing about Dragon Quest, kids. Explore everything, because chances are you're going to find something good. Like that Seed of Resilience. Let's pop that on us right now, actually. Now, it's random how much you'll get. Ah, uh, bad. I think it goes up to a max of three or four. I-I-R-C. And you can always adjust the camera angle to be better equipped to walk around. Son of a bitch. And if you press L and R at the same time, the camera resets. <laughs> Let me in. Hello, sir. <laughs> That's nice. Rodrigo and Don Rodrigo? Yeah, I'll just be my dad. Just 2.0. That's what we want our kids to be. Though, I suppose in medieval times. <gasps> I want a joke. Ah! <laughs> the writing in this game is uh, pretty good. It's not like uh, the remake of 4DS where the accents of the characters are uh, super thick right off the bat. Like, you could read that one. Yeah, he's got an accent, but 4 laid it on pretty thick, and I think that shocked a lot of people, because I think at that point, people's only experience was, like, 8 on the PS2 having accents. And, you know, that one had voice acting to help out with reading it, so... I'd play the Super Nintendo version to keep up with my whole theme of the NES version of 4, but... What if I didn't do that, even? The DS version has more stuff I feel like I should show off. It's the one I'm most familiar with. Alright, time to loot. Darn it. Loot? Oh. Loot? Oh. Loot? Loot? I have a distinct feeling this is going to be a theme, uh, the theme of the evening. Is that you I clicked, or... I feel like I got a little jammed in there. Boy, what a tease. I don't like that at all. No bueno. Whatever, let's just head back to our dear old dad. Cool, it seems I've made it past the piracy check. Let me tell you, getting five DS to run on a DS emulator is a bit of a, a bit of an issue. And to compile my own DS emulator using the, the tips and tricks on the Desmume website. Though apparently one of the piracy checks for this game is uh that uh, cutscene won't trigger, so you'll just be stuck on the boat forever. What's up, Dad? Sounds like a plan to me. Oh no, trust me, I robbed this ship blind, Dad. I have several TNT tickets and enough herb to fund Snoop for the rest of his life. Or the rest of this hour, I don't know. I feel like making Snoop Dogg weed jokes is just low-hanging fruit at this point. Ah! Mr. Briscoletti, I ate your watermelon. Boy, she seems like someone we'll never marry. That's nice. <laughs> I misread that as nerd for a second. Like, come on, nerd.
<laughs> I know I could pay Salinguini. You get it, he's fat, so he likes food. The writing in this game is spectacular, if I do say so myself. Is there anything in these barrels? Guess not. I will... I forgot you were a character in this game. Alright, Dad, let's roll. Why'd you ask me twice, then? I feel like you got to with kids. Hell, even when I had to pack up to go from my apartment back to my mom's house sometimes, I'd forget stuff. Forgot my whole laptop once coming back, so, you know, that was a fun six hours of driving. I had to do it, like, 11 p.m. to 5 a.m. There it goes. On the briny blue that kinda hurts my eyes to look at. <laughs> that, that's the DS for you. Oh. Sweet. Now we have a world map. Okay, Dad. What are you, Mr. Green Man? Yes, I now have fine motor control. Money! Not much we can do with ten gold. I think we can buy a single medicinal herb for ten gold. That'd be eight gold. It's not like we're gonna be loading up on herb with that guy. Uh, our ill-gotten goods. And nothing, nothing, nothing. Ah, there's nothing for me to steal. Link's got nothing on a young comic here. What? Fuck you too, Grandma. I wonder. Give me just a moment. What if I hit view? Okay, we won't worry about that for now. Just with no gap in between the uh, two screens, I was a little worried that the image is getting a little distorted, but that's something I can figure out and edit in. Yep. Well, any magic? Well, I'm in trouble. Oh no, I'm messing them up. No, I can handle these. Slimes ain't shit. Oh, hey, Dad. Ooh, look at you, level 27. Oh, oh my. Well, I beat something by myself, so uh, how about that, Dad? I could have handled that. I got herbs. Cool. But Dad, I want to level grind. See, the game knows what we need. Oh, look at these funky ferrets. That's... that's something. I wanna fight the jail cat. Ooh, two moves at once. I see you've got MP there, father. Would you like to use a cool attacking spell, or... oh. Critical hits or something. Yeah, well, I softened that one up for you. Nice. I got some MP now, so it's good to know that I can th throw spells out as a tiny little baby boy. He's avoiding the mountains because those have a higher encounter rate. I wonder if that kept up in the DS version. It's pretty easy to predict in the uh, Dr DS Dragon Quest remakes when you're going to trigger a random battle. It feels like you can pretty much count the steps until you're there. You can feel it in your bones. And I like that. It's It takes some of the randomness out while not just making it so you can totally avoid everything. 
I don't know, I kind of like this style the best for random encounters, if we're not going to go the Bravely Default style of having total control over the amount of random encounters you get into. But did you just, like, totally blow that guy off? Alright, we're just going to blow everyone off. That's fair. Praise the goddess. Glory Bay. H A P P Y. Happy Year. I feel like Sancho's accent is just a little too on the nose there. <laughs> he does talk exactly like my old manager, Chipotle, though. There she is. I was about to say, Sancho, you bred? Didn't, didn't take you for the kind of guy. Whitaker, huh? Whitey Whitaker? Yeah, why not? Uh, can't say I do. Oh, look at you. You could beat me up in a fight. Six years old, and I already killed the slime with my bare hands. Heh, <laughs> dipshit. You're eight years old. How do you not know how to read? This is medieval times. I should probably give these people a break. Give me cool items. What luck! A leather hat! Nice. Can't beat, uh, easy, like, free items. Chingui! See, that makes more sense. You're six. When did I learn how to read? Can't forget. Poor mom, I wonder where she went. She fell into the ball pit at Chuck E. Cheese and she never made it back out. Cool, let's pop that on me. In other Dragon Quest games, I may recommend saving your seeds up front, but in 5, it's a good idea to just kind of blow them all on your MC for now. I'll explain why when it becomes pertinent, but for now, we'll just stick with what we know. And we get a stone! Yay! Now that's something a kid would be joyous for. He's like, look, I found a cool rock. That's something I still enjoy. You gonna sell me arms? I'm a child. Copper sword doesn't sound too bad. Of course, I don't have any curative magic, so it's probably not the best idea to be level grinding just yet. <laughs> More like Wheat Brook. That wasn't actually funny, it's just I replaced the L with a T. A T shape. Hmm. I wonder. <laughs> that could possibly be pertinent later. Well, that sounds cool. Cool, so what say you we engage in the g grand old Dragon Quest tradition of level? Or not. <laughs> no, it's cool. They don't like tradition around here. Whatever. I get it. 
What's up, nunny? Well, that's upsetting. Can they bring her back? Yo, Dragon Quest Nine, me. You got something you want to say? Confess all that you've done before the goddess. Sounds like a plan to me. Ah, it's magical, it's whimsical, it's so grand. I do intend to continue on. However, we're going to save the continuation of Ace for next time in Didi Doodah. Thank you so very much for watching and have yourselves a wonderful day.